Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So before we get to this video, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And also, um, let me know what you think down below. Basically, a subscriber of mine asked me a question on how I store my drills. As you guys know, I store them all in my old shoe boxes. They're not the prettiest of things, but they do the job basically. Not sure how I make them. Go back through my videos down there. Um, it's actually my most watched video actually um, on how I make them. It's I go into detail how I make them. It's not that hard. So if you get stuck on how to saw these spare drills, obviously I've got a load more behind me and I've got another box in the living room. So I do have a lot of spare drills and this is how I store them inside my boxes. So I have, each of my boxes are all labelled. So these are my 700s, 800s and 900s here. So basically I've got 11 boxes so far. Um... Um, my 1 and 200 is in the same box because I don't have many 1 and 200s. So all my drills that are 700 to 799 are in this box, basically. And they go in number order. So I've got, as you can see, they're all nice and lined up. And so if I need to find the number, you could make little cards as well. I haven't got that far yet. <clears throat> and it is a good idea so you can easily more easily find it so in here so let me move you guys down there we go right so in this box i've got so i've got all my 700 to 702 and it goes all the way up to 799 and like I put all the bulk ones and I tend to try and put all the bulk ones into little baggies if it's in a one huge bag but yeah that's how I store them all or if I've got a whole roll like this I'll just shove them in that area you could put them into little ziplock baggies but I was running desperately low and I needed to order more. I had to finally arrive. So this is the box I actually did on the channel. And I just covered it with some tape rings. So I was trying to cover it with paper, but it was a pain in the bum to do. So again, we've got, this one is all our 900s. And they're all stored, so from the early 900s going up and up and up and up and up to the higher numbers. And again, they all my 800s. As you can see, I've got a bulk lot of one colour here. These, I ordered from Smith Speeds because I'd run it, I was doing a huge uh, custom for my dad. And I ordered 10,000 in case I'd run out. In case that these didn't match the other ones and they didn't but i have to say i am not impressed with the quality of smith beads and to be honest these took a month to arrive i was not happy so everyone kept saying they only take a couple of days to arrive they didn't these took a month to arrive when i sent them an email saying where's my diamonds they arrived the next day so mm, suspect so yeah, I've got 10,000. I did give a few away. I wanted they've got diamond pages. But I've got so many here. It's just... And I tried to use them for extra projects. But they're all so uneven. That I was actually not impressed with their quality at all. I'm really not impressed with their quality. They're not... I wouldn't say they're brilliant quality personally. They're, they're diamonds. I don't think they, they, they pay good money for them. I think they get the cheapest personally, but that's just my opinion. If you like Swiss B, maybe their lighter colours are a lot better, but the darker colours, they're 823s. I don't recommend them at all. Because I've got, what, must be about 9,000 here, maybe 
god knows how many thousands anyway here and i ain't got clue what to do with them because they're not the same size i've tried to use them on other projects and they're all over the place unlike with like for example oh, they're not as cute as these right these yeah there's a couple of odd little escapey colors in that but ASA QSD, I can guarantee nine times out of ten, they're all the same size. So they go together a lot easier for my spare projects. These don't work. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I, I slowly get rid of them, but they're, they're not a good company. I, well, the 823s are just rubbish, personally. But if you like Smith Speed, it's fantastic. They're handy if you've run out of a colour. But personally, don't bother the rate two freeze because I've got this, all these, but I haven't got a clue what to do with them right now. Because I can't use them on spare projects, so I was like, right, I'll get using them on spare projects, but I can't even use them, which I'm really annoyed about because they're not cheap either to buy them in the UK. As we all know, anybody that does diamond painting for a while knows that buying drills in the UK is not cheap. So I don't know what I'm going to do there because obviously I've got 10, well, they're not, it's not 10,000 now. It's however many thousands left anyway. There's at least 8,000 there. What was it? 20,000 I ordered. I don't know. It was a re uh, the R E M E Remy or something that my my dad was in the army. And it's just I don't know. I can't remember. That. It was a couple of years ago. I did it for him, but yeah, it wasn't a brilliant. They're not brilliant. I personally think so. If you like Smith Speed, awesome. Maybe there. Maybe I was just very unlucky. I had a really bad quality, but yeah, personally, I don't really recommend them. I yeah. I'd rather um, go and ask my mum. <laughs> See if she's got some. I love my mum. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I think that's about it. So, yeah. I hope, um, Debs, I hope this was all, um, helpful for you. If it's not, let me know and I'll reshoot it for you and do a better job. If you, yeah, Debs, let me know if this was helpful for you. And if it wasn't, let me know and I'll redo it for you, all right? And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.